My name is Sean Espinosa with SC Shirts and Hoodies. So my role in this company uh, is every role from accounting to production to uh, customer relations to HR. When you're in a position that I'm in, you pretty much have to wear every cap. When I started this company, I worked on the oil field. We were freezing, so I just bought a vinyl cutter and a heat press for 1200 bucks and started making my own sweater. And then it just kind of snowballed. And you know, three years later, we're where we're at now, so. Before I even got my first embroidery machine, I was asking around to all my clients that I had, hey, if I got an embroidery machine, would you want some hats? They all said yes, yeah, so I just pulled the trigger. Uh, what we started with was an MT-1501. Just started embroidering too. In my first month, I made all the money for that embroidery machine back. Yes. The largest order of embroidery that I've ever had was like 2,900 hats. That was when I was in my apartment, running hats all day every day boxes and boxes of hats everywhere all that my apartment fit was a single head we could not catch up like it was getting to a point where i had to outsource stuff just to try to keep up with the workload and but outsourcing really isn't a good business model because you're dependent on other people to get you your product the time is money right so like at the point where the mt1501 was bogging us down we were losing money at that time because no matter even if i try to cut down on stitches like whatever things I would try to do to like streamline the process, it just was bogged down with the amount of orders that we were getting. So the quicker and more efficient and smoother you get the job done, the more money you're gonna make. It don't seem like that when you're in a one bedroom or your embroidery machines next to your stove in your kitchen, but that's the reality of the situation. Once I was bogged down, we moved up to the CHT8, which is an eight head. The reason why I went with the eight head, the wide version of the eight head um, is some of our customers like Embroidery not only on the side of the hats on the front, but it allows us to run the side, each side and the front in one run without having to stop. You always want to purchase something that you could grow into. So what made me want to stay with Ricoma is the tech support. Not every company in this within this industry, apparel industry, has that type of tech support. So if you could call and get somebody on the phone within five, 10 minutes, like it's a pretty good company. When I first went to purchase my first embroidery machine, which was the MT-1501. The thing that stood out the most to me was the customer service that the sales team actually imposed on me. It's one thing when you're calling and you don't know anything about this industry, you're hoping that these sales people could help you out with your needs. So when they do help you out, it just makes you feel more comfortable with the buying process. So how I've been able to profit from this business and profit specifically from embroidery is treating every customer the way that I'd wanna be treated. The benefit that I have over big companies is if you call my phone, I'm gonna probably call you by your first name. Hey man, when you have that type of relationship or when you could call a company and the company doesn't have to put you on hold, hold on, what's your order number again? Let me try to look you up in their system. They have no relationship with you. So your business, it matters to them on the profit side, but it doesn't really matter to them from a relationship standpoint. One hand washes the other hand. It's, it's, it's trying to build relationships. Um, that has gone me this far. What motivates me every single day is fear. So when you have a fear of failure or a fear of failing the people around you, because no longer is it just about me. Now it's about other people. Uh, you know, everybody that works here is family. So it's all, it, it's basically my family is what motivates me. Because if I'm not here, how can I provide an opportunity? If they aren't here, how can they help me grow this? A couple pieces of advice that I'd give to somebody that's just starting out is be careful what you wish for. You pray for these big orders. You pray for the profit margins. You pray for repetitive customers till you have that. And it grows to a point that you can no longer sustain by yourself. People see the success, but they don't see the grind in it. Another piece of advice that I'd give them is just go for it. Like you're gonna have 50 people tell you you can't do it rather than one person telling you you can do it. Me personally, I'd rather try and fail than never try at all. This is just the beginning. Pretty soon, we're gonna move out of this spot. Hopefully we outgrow it in six more months and we'll rebuild somewhere else, you know? <laughs> so the experience that I've had with my MT-1501 and now with my A-head from Ricoma, I'll definitely be coming back for more machines.